Are you sick and tired of talking to suppliers on Alibaba not getting the cheapest pricing for your product? If that's the case, watch this video because I'm going to show you a tutorial on how you can get the best pricing for your product so that you can sell it for the highest margin. I need the dollar, 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 that's what I need. So for those who are new to the channel, what's up? My name is Tom. I'm from Vancouver, BC, and I've been selling on Amazon since 2017. Collectively, we've done well over $4 million in sales, and I'm here to basically help you with your Amazon FBA journey. I'm here to motivate you, inspire you, and uh, this channel, basically, I document my own Amazon FBA journey, entrepreneurial side, mind stuff, all that type of good stuff. So if you're interested, make sure to hit that subscribe button. So jump in front of my computer here we're actually going to go into the supplier tab and we're going to type in any product that you're looking for so let's say that you're sourcing uh garlic press right that's kind of the joke in the amazon space so garlic press if, if this video gets a thousand likes i'm going to launch a garlic press and record and document the whole thing so um yeah go like that video and <laughs> hopefully it doesn't happen but if it does you might have to launch a garlic press but anyway um once I click that, I see there's 1,300 garlic press suppliers. And uh, from here, I'm just taking a look. These are all garlic press. These are all suppliers that I'm looking for. Perfect. So the thing that I see a lot of people making the mistake of is literally contacting three to five different suppliers. You know nothing about this product right now. You don't know how it's made, where it's made, so on and so forth. So in China, something that's really interesting is that different regions of China specialize in different things. So if you're sourcing electronics, it's better off for you to actually source that from Shenzhen. And um, there's other places that specialize in wood products, bamboo products, etc. So when it comes to sourcing garlic press, I have no idea which part of China makes the best garlic press. So what I want to do right now is actually click on this little favorite button, button, click on OK, click on the second one, click OK, click on the third favorite button, click OK. I'm actually going to repeat this process 50 or 60 times. Out of 1,300 suppliers, I'm probably going to be contacting 60 to 70 suppliers right off the bat. Now, I'm adding them to favorites, so let's say I'm on my last one. What I can actually do is click on check my favorites, and then it's going to go into this folder right here. I'm going to click on suppliers on the top, and then I'm going to click on on groups. Now, I'm going to click on this little button, and I'm going to click on create a group. I'm going to call this garlic press. Click on confirm, and then I'm going to put everybody that I just labeled off to this group. So now I have 10 suppliers in this garlic press group that I formed. You should have 50 or 60, the more the better. And then from here, you want to select on everything, click contact supplier, and now you can actually send a message to all the suppliers, right? So the reason why we're doing this, you say, well, why that takes up too much time. I don't want to hear back from 50, 60 suppliers. The reason why we're doing this is because now you understand the scale, the spectrum of what is the low price, what is the high price. Because if you just contact five to 10 different suppliers, you don't know what type of offers you're getting back. You have nothing to compare it to. But now if you get 50 suppliers, now you can have a very, very good range of, wow, I know a dollar is really, really cheap. I've noticed that out of 50, no one went under a dollar, whereas someone went crazy and went $10. So now you have that range and you can only deal with suppliers who are offering the lowest price. And from, from there, you're beginning the negotiation phase. So this is a very quick hack that I wanted to show you. I see a lot of beginners making the mistake of only contacting a couple suppliers. When it comes to negotiation, one of the biggest things is leverage. Leverage is basically just having a as many different options as possible. So the more options you have, the less dependent you become on one supplier so you can essentially get good pricing on um, your next product. So I hope this video helped you with your supplying, with, with finding suppliers on Alibaba. If you did find this video useful, make sure to hit that thumbs up button and follow me on Instagram, on Facebook. It's all in the comment section below. And I'll see you guys in the very next video.